Today I want to talk about binge eating and I know it can be an uncomfortable topic for most of us. If you find yourself mindlessly munching on large amounts of food and eat when you're not really hungry and eventually feeling guilt and shame uh and sometimes there's even a behavior that's associated with it like you tell yourself ki i've already done so bad i might just go with it and start eating better from tomorrow now that's binge eating this behavior can have serious consequences like it's negative to be overweight or underweight but really looks aside it can be damaging your health binge eating can lead to high blood pressure high cholesterol obesity and even mental disorders like anxiety and depression in this video i have a few tips that can help reduce binge eating when you're on a restrictive diet you're constantly thinking about food like what do i eat next or this food didn't really fill me up this way you're very likely to jump off of this new diet and fall back into binge eating the only solution here is to ask yourself two questions the first question is will i be able to stick to this new diet for a minimum of 6 months if yes then please go ahead with it but if not then it's not really worth putting yourself in that pain of restricting yourself the second question to ask yourself is what do i want to add more into my diet and simply focus on the things that you can't have for example saying um, i want to have more fruits instead of saying i want to have less of uh, candy and soda this little shift in the mindset can be very impactful when it comes to binge eating no one wants to be told that they're deprived of something but everybody likes it when they can have more of something This one goes without saying that drinking enough fluids can improve our overall health. But how does this help in binge eating? Here's how. Thirst is often mistaken for hunger and cravings. So the next time you feel like reaching out for a snack, try drinking some water first. If you want to make it more enjoyable, try adding some slices of oranges, lemons or cucumbers to make it more enticing. or even just have some tea by doing this you'll feel fuller for the time being and you can have your next large meal without the unwanted grazing in between when you eat your main meals on time and in good portions that include uh, protein and fiber dense foods then you're less likely to binge eat this is because these food groups can keep you fuller for longer and help decrease the urge to gravitate towards other food in between This leads to my next tip. Planning when and what to eat throughout the day has helped me so much. But in order to make the planning part easy, you must first clean out the kitchen. Remove everything you think is not good for your health and stock up on nutritious food. Take time on the weekends to meal prep. By doing this, you are not only saving a lot of money, reducing the food waste and avoiding all the unnecessary takeouts, but also helps with binge eating. By doing this you will see some great changes in your eating habits. It builds a positive relationship with food than a restrictive one and without actually challenging your willpower. Ditch the screens. Eating while you're in front of a television or like or in front of your phones it can really be bad for you. A new study shows that people who do this often lose track of what they're eating and overindulge. The solution here is to enjoy your meals with friends, family or your partner. And even when you're alone, try to really enjoy the food that you eat. Like really taste, smell and enjoy it wholeheartedly. This works the same with any treat food that I'm enjoying. Like I tell myself, like if I'm having this, I might as well really really enjoy it. To build around this point, I suggest you have a food log or a mood journal. where you write down what you exactly ate and how exactly you felt after eating that food by implementing this you're not only aware of what you eat but it also focuses on how you're feeling we all have this idea of what an ideal body size and a shape should be this almost gives us a false impression of the goals that we have for ourselves especially with the influence of social media We often try to put unrealistic expectations trying to look a certain way. What we don't see is that there's a lot of effort that's put into getting that perfect video or a perfect picture, the right angles, filters and photoshops. Don't compare yourself with the stuff online. Everybody is born different with different body shape and size. Knowing that and accepting that can be a huge form of self-love and can put you at so much more peace and give you a much more realistic expectations with your goals. 
if there is something that is making you feel bad or triggering your emotions especially when it comes to food you can just go ahead and unfollow them or unsubscribe to them like the same out of sight out of mind like genuinely talk to someone what emotions trigger you or which type of food you aren't able to stop binging some people who face this issue they often try to isolate themselves and eat uh, in private talk to someone and receiving their support toward your journey can be a lot easier than to do it yourself even if you're someone on the flip side when someone is trying to reach out to you for help or your advice or trying to share things with you in general just try and make it a more um so like safe and uh, a friendly environment so that they can vent out to you and they can reach out for you for help i want to quickly end this by saying that um i'm not a professional and uh, all the information conveyed in today's video is something that i learned through research statistics and various books and these tips have worked for me in the past few years and um, yeah do not take this video uh, as a substitute for any medical condition please do take it with a grain of salt and if you want to educate yourself more on this topic i'll link some resources down in the description below also if you have any tips related to binge eating and if you have any questions do let me know in the comments and hey thanks for stopping by and do consider subscribing if you want to watch more such content and i will see you very very soon to see this you eat when you're not proper like you do